Hello everyone, Trancher Dunn here, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, today is Wednesday the 11th of March and I've read something today and I wanted to go over it with you guys just to sort of let you know in case you're not already informed. Um, I do already have a video planned for Saturday which as I mentioned in the last video is to do with the reveal of my new reptile which uh, you can look forward to that 6pm on Saturday. Um, but this is to do with the Brachypalma Kalita Cartel um, names basically. Now I didn't go over the original uh, name split, uh, the reclassification, because there's other people covering it. But for those of you who don't know, what well, used to be the Brachypalma genus was split into two, which is the Brachypalma and the Toledo Cartel. I will put down um, the genus and then the species sort of on the screen so you can see which falls into which. Um, and this is not massively important if you don't own them, but if you do own them and you have labels and things like that, then it's worth uh, knowing which species belongs to which genus. So that's kind of like old news. Most people are aware of this. Um, what is new though today, I have read that they have made a few changes to the uh, Toledo uh, cartel names, and I'm gonna put a highlight um, by the one that they've changed as of right now that I'm aware of. Um, if I have made any mistakes with this, or if I, um, you know, if I've got something wrong, then I will update it in a future video and also update the description of this video. So in the future, if they change anything else, or if I've made a mistake, I will point it out in the description. Um, but as I am right now, I believe what I'm saying to be true, and um, so I want to sort of make sure that you are aware of that. So as you can see, there are only three species that have had the name change, and it's not a massive change, it's not a massive problem, um, but it is worth noting that this is what they are now called, and um, obviously if you have lists, then it might be worth going back and either changing the names of them or just being aware, although that said, if you do still call them um, you know, Bopolosum, people are going to know what you're talking about um, if you use the scientifics. Um, so I will put the uh, names on this side so you can see what they were and what they are now and just to go over how, uh, how to say them, um, of course the genus of these is the Toledo Cartel and they are the Toledo Cartel Abopolosus, the Toledo Cartel Epicuranus and the Toledo Cartel Sarbolosus. So uh, not massive changes really but it is worth noting that these three spiders have had their names changed. Um, I'm not sure why to be fair so I will try and do some more research and try and find out um, why this has happened and maybe do a follow-up video. Um, but for now, this is what they are called. And as, I, as of right now, we're reading what I've read online. Uh, these are the only three that have had the, the change. Although, of course, when it comes to people renaming spiders, um, you know, it happens quite a lot. Actually, it's happened with various uh, genus in the past getting broken up entirely and you know, full changes. Um, and it does need to happen to be fair because spiders are put into uh, the sort of genus that really they shouldn't be there um, and so that's why they get divided and it's better for, for everyone that you know that they are put into the, the, you know, the right genus of what they are where they're from kind of thing. So very quickly before I end this video I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch my content. If you did find this video at all informative, educational, enjoyable, anything like that uh, please don't forget to uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think and you know, give me a thumbs up, that would really help me out. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, again that really helps me out. And to help me out even further, uh, please consider sharing this video or any of my other videos on your social media with people that you think might enjoy it. Uh, as always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons for their continued support, it really does mean a lot to me. And I'd like to give a special, special congratulations to uh, Pocket Ninja. Uh, who is a subscriber of mine, I've met her in the past at shows and she has just had a baby. So um, I really think that that deserves a huge congratulations and um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon at a future show. So with that said, I'm going to leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for taking the time to watch my content and as always, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye from everyone, take care.